Um, let me a little bit more right there, and then I'll be done. Then we can do our highlighter. Wait, stop. Some Ollie's gonna fall. you sometimes but i want to say sometimes with you just the two of us we can make it if we try just the two of us just the two of us Jeez. <laughs> okay okay it's your favorite big hair youtuber Hello, my name is Nala Simone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good and being safe now. From the top, you already know what's going on. We're doing another makeup tutorial today and we just want to jump right to it. Okay, well, before we do that, we're going to do our quote and the quote I have today. So, backstory. I watched John Wick yesterday, right y'all? movie i love i don't know why i'm just now watching this movie but i love this movie i love the series i love everything about the series i haven't finished i'm not completely done yet but i watched the first one and the second one and i gotta watch the third one eventually anyways um winston um the quote came from winston and he said this kingdom is mine and mine alone so basically I mean, the quote is pretty self-explanatory, but this kingdom is yours and yours alone. You don't let nobody else rule your kingdom, baby. If you work for it, that's yours. Don't share and don't settle. Now that we got that out the way. So while I was telling y'all about my handy dandy quote, I only put some sweet almond oil on my face from Bay Body Naturals. I really like that almond oil. It's so, cause I used to, it's just perfect. Cause I used to wear, um, what I used to do? I used to put coconut oil on my face and then I stopped because I got some of that and I love it on the oil. I like to put it on my face before I do my makeup and it just be coming out so pretty. Okay. Y'all know it's just some of my looks before we start our makeup. It's just some of my crusty looks that just don't sit right with me. Alright. So, normally the first thing I would do is prime my face but I don't have any primer. Shh, don't tell nobody. Okay. But you would prime your face. The primer that I use is the Elf Poreless Primer. And go get that. That's a really good primer. But I'm just going to use this olive oil just so I can at least moisturize it before I start putting stuff on it. It's the curl on the edges for me. Yep. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is our eyebrows. Y'all already know we go from top to bottom. And we're gonna use our wet and wild pencil of course y'all should already know this by now y'all already know this of course we're just gonna brush them bad boys out make sure y'all groom your eyebrows and we just gonna we just gonna drop stuff as we okay so guys i was thinking well, I, hate when that happens when you trying to sharpen your um, eyebrow pencil and it just breaks and you just like you gotta start all the way over but I was thinking I think I want to try to do it something different for my eyebrows like I want to try a different product for them I don't know what product I want to use it's weird like I don't know I want to do something different I just don't know what I want to do I'm gonna have to look into it I'm really trying to figure out what I'm doing with my eyebrows today because baby, oh baby, no, nah, that ain't gonna work. Y'all, <laughs> I got TikTok and all I be doing is saying TikTok stuff now. You can't tell me nothing. Like my friends, they swept me down. Get TikTok, get TikTok, get TikTok. It's like TikTok is not that good. This is me talking. I was like, TikTok is not that good. Nothing is better than Instagram. I love Instagram. I mean, love it. Like, Instagram is one of my favorite apps. Hands down. But TikTok, I don't know what they put in in TikTok's programming and stuff, but they really get did the thing when they made it. Like, it makes you makes you calm. Like, if you ask a lot of people, they say 
that's part of the reason why they like TikTok. Just calm you right on down. It's crazy because I used to be so conscious about how I do my um, eyebrows because I didn't want them to be messy. I want them to look good because I have no way to clean them up. And now I just don't be caring. They be looking any kind of way just because I know I can fix them. Sometimes I be being self-conscious. I be like, Mama, what are you doing? And then I be like, girl, you can fix it. It doesn't even matter. Like right now, I don't know what's going on with these eyebrows. But they don't look good by the time they need to look good. I can tell you that much. <laughs> okay, so y'all already know. Well, y'all should know by now. I mean, it's like 3,000. Well, it's not 3,000, but it's enough. Um, It's enough YouTube videos. I mean, you make up stories on here. Y'all should know what's going to come after this. Okay. So, you guessed it. <laughs> it's the NYX Makeup Professional Eyeshadow Base in the color skin tone and that's what we're going to use to clean up the bottom of our eyebrows take my foundation this is the l'oreal l'oreal true match super blendable makeup um foundation in the color classic 10 in seven mm, just what it looked like right there what it looked like. they all see it right there okay i'm just gonna get a little bit of this foundation out the top and put it and use that to clean up my eyebrows such a love hate relationship with this eyebrow right here y'all it just be so weird sometimes but it doesn't look right if it's not in its natural shape <sighs> i don't know what's wrong with this eyebrow so i do know that i'm not the problem at least i do know Ooh. i also need to find something thicker to clean up the top of my eyebrows Cause I don't want to use eyeshadow base on the top and the bottom because I don't want it to be too light. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then again, I just might have to because one thing about me, Miss Warner, I wasn't with for. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do. Now, I know the last time, I might have edited it out, but last time I had this Maybelline City Bronzer, really didn't know how to use it because, I don't know, I just didn't know how to really use it. And then I started playing with it a little bit, and I like putting this on before I put on my foundation or anything. Oh, girl, see now I'm over here running my mouth. Because see, it's bad because I broke it, and this is what happened. Lord have mercy, y'all. Send help. We're going to take this Maybelline City Bronzer. It says Bronzer and Contour Powder. And this is in the color 200. I actually, I want to try that, um, what's this one called? That Black Radiance um, True Complexion Palette. Contour Palette. Cream Contour. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I want to try that. And I feel like that just gives me everything I need. I just get some on there. I dust it off. And where, where my job naturally start to go in, that's where I put it. Okay, another thing, the second product that I didn't like at first and now I slick like. And it's this Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. Actually, I was supposed to put the finishing powder on first, but it's okay. Y'all know, 
Well, now y'all know to put the finishing powder on top. No, put the finishing powder under the contour. Okay. I take this Maybelline Loose Setting Powder. I get it on that big fluffy brush from the BH Cosmetics palette. This is brush number one. Like I said, take that big fluffy brush. Dust it off. Please dust it off. Because that's why I didn't like this product at first. Because it just made me look so ashy and dry. And I didn't appreciate that. And like I said, part of it could be because I got the wrong color. Um, I really don't know why it would look like that. But, yeah. So, I just started putting a little bit on. Just on my face. And just tap it on there. Like I said, please don't put too much on. It'll make you just look so ashy. But a little bit, like I said, a little bit goes a long way with this product. Another thing I don't like about this product is that it looks so messy. Like I said, it could very much be that I don't know what I'm doing. That very much could be what the problem is. But until I determine that to be the reason why, it is the problem and not me. Okay? Are seven thousand seven hundred ninety-six and Nala not being able to find what she's looking for? Do, 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 do. Found it. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. How y'all feel about this song? I don't listen to it. I don't listen to our album either. Like I'm a Megan Thee Stallion fan, but I'm not a Megan Thee Stallion music fan. If that makes sense. Like I like her music, but. Like she, she's a good artist. I just she. But how y'all like? How y'all feel about that? That album? Let me know, cause I haven't listened to it yet. But I like that body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. I haven't listened to that song all the way through. I just know the parts of this song cause of social media. But I be trying to tell y'all, it's a lot of songs you don't even have to listen to to know the words to. And that's just that's just how. Social media is at this point in our lives, but I digress. Okay. Okay. So I feel like I'm just getting makeup everywhere. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is take whatever it is. Oh, I found a new brush, y'all. I know I use this to clean my eyebrows. I know that's what a lot of people use to clean up their eyebrows. I have to see, see what's up with it. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush, the same brush. I really don't know where I got it from. We're gonna take this brush. We use that to clean up the top of our eyebrows. To, that's part of the reason why I like to let my stuff set. Like when I'm doing my eyebrows, really any makeup, but as far as foundation and eyeshadow base, eyeshadow base, concealer, all of those blend out so much better when you just let them sit for a little while, a little while and let them marinate in your skin. Oh, snatch be something real. Okay. Y'all think I just accept the fact that my eyebrows usually are not gonna look identical like I be wanting them to, but that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. So, I'll do the same thing for the bottom. I really don't be caring about the bottom of my eyebrows, like clean them up so much because I'm gonna use the same thing for eyeshadow base as I use for hold on y'all I really don't be caring 
about keeping this part so clean as long as I don't have that harsh line I really do not care because it's going on my eyebrows I mean on my eyelids anyways because I use the same thing for eyeshadow base as I used to clean up my eyebrows so I mean clean up the bottom of my eyebrows so it, it kind of doesn't matter Just like everything will look real blended and seamless. Well, see, that's already giving me the face. Mm. Mm. Body, yaddy, 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 gotta do something i don't know what we're gonna do but we gotta do something because that's not gonna work because what i'm trying to do is not gonna work with this color eyeshadow base no how about this how about we just leave this alone if we need to take this off we will because there's nothing on our face right now with some powder and if we need to take it off we can but we just gonna do yeah we're just gonna fix this out okay kind of don't know how we're gonna fix it but we're gonna figure it out okay so, we're gonna leave this out alone. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the next eyeshadow base in the color white and we're gonna make a wing with that eyeshadow base. Okay. When you put it on your, on your brush, make sure it's not too much. You want this brush to stay together. You don't want it to be too much. You want it to go smoothly onto the surface. That's exactly what you want to do. Don't expect your wing. I'm not going to say don't expect it, but your wing doesn't have to be perfect for it's still a good man. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take this. Lord have mercy. Damn, brush brushes and be tickling y'all. I be struggling sometimes. The brushes be so ugh. I hate doing this. They be tickling me. I ain't asked for all that. Usually once I get that inside part done, I'm good though. But it's very possible that I just need to all on it. Oh wait, see, see, see. See, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, guys, try to spread that out. some light crude and sample girl cute and sample okay i don't know how this is gonna work because normally i would put my i would set my eyes before i put the eyeshadow on but the powder is so dark i don't want to take the eyeshadow base we're gonna figure it out. Okay. Okay, take some tape, line it up right under. Right under there. And boom. You have a wing. So you can really put your wing wherever you want as long as you like it. It's kinda all that matters. 
he is all that matters, you feel me? He do whatever you want, okay? Or boy, y'all get it. This is one of the things you want to clean up as much as you can. Okay, so now that we got that done, um, we're gonna let that sit before we start doing anything else to this eye. Now we gotta see what we're gonna do to this eye. Um, let me see. I can't, okay, 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 okay. Bear with me. I'm just gonna take this little q tip, I'm just gonna wipe it off. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Please excuse the kids, y'all, but shoot, they need to be kids. They deserve to be kids, and they need to be outside playing as much as possible. For this red wing, I will be using the Makeup Revolution Color Book Palette. And this is CV3. And this is like all your yellows and oranges and reds and stuff. And this one, and then they have they have a green and blue one. They have a gray, black, white color scheme one. And they have a, a purple one. I love these palettes. I recommend that you get them. Sometimes, um, us baby have them on sale. Wink, wink. I hope I like it. Okay, so out of that CB3 palette, I'm just gonna use this shade at the bottom, which is the reddish red that I found, well, that I like to my liking. You may like a brighter red or a darker red. That's to your liking. As long as you like your makeup, baby, I do not care. Okay. I'm gonna take that tape, bring it back, and we're just gonna pack that right there inside, right on top of that white. I'm more patting instead of swiping, because I want it to stick, I want it to be really even. Okay, so that's it for eye number one, a very simple red wing, and I like it. Okay. okay. 
and before we move on to the next eye we're going to take some of the NYX eyeshadow base in the color skin tone and we're going to take that same brush just make sure you clean it off so you don't get your eyeshadow base red make sure y'all clean y'all brushes often because I said I wanted to start making sure that I clean my once a week, but I don't do my makeup like that no more. During the summertime, I had all the time in the world, and I have school and other things, and I'm busy, so I don't get to do makeup all day every day like I used to, and I'm sad about it. Okay, so I'm going to use that eyeshadow base, clean up my eyebrows, I mean... I will use that eyeshadow base to clean up this thing. Okay, so now that we're done with this eye and putting our eyeshadow base on that eye, we are going to blend this out and then put our normal brown on this eye. Okay, and to blend this out, I think I'm going to use brush number six from that same BH Cosmetics brush set. I really prefer using a fluffy brush, but I can't find it right now. Okay, I was capping. We're gonna use brush number three from the BH Cosmetics Kit. Brush set, stain and kit. Y'all should already know what, what we're using. <laughs> To put in our crease. And that of course is <laughs> that of course is the Kano palette from Juvia's Place. Well, that's not the Kano palette. It's the Warrior palette from Juvia's Place. And we're using the color Kano. That's that gorgeous brown. All these browns are gorgeous. They're just so this is such a beautiful palette. Oh, <laughs> and we're gonna be using Kano, and we're just gonna put that in our crease. And we're gonna be using this all over shout brush and brush number, I feel like this is brush number four from the BH Cosmetics palette. number four to blend that out. And this 
one eye done okay same thing for the other eye y'all Okay, so now we got that all out the way. We're officially done with the eyes. We're just gonna take off these pieces of tape and look at them five wings we just did. So we're gonna take our foundation, same foundation we used to clean up our eyebrows, and we're just gonna put now we're gonna put a little bit on the back of our hand. And close it so we don't drop anything. And before we do that, we're just gonna take the same brush that we used to put on our contour, we're just going to blend that out a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Now, y'all, and we yes, we put it over the contour. Y'all, I'm not going to cap to y'all now. It seemed like lately I've been getting a little lighter because of the winter time. So I go very light with this. Very, very light. I never really like went heavy with foundation, but now I'm even more careful with it because I don't want it to look too light for my face before I go get in a lighter shade. So I can get my winter shade and my summer shade and be done with it. Okay. Now that we got our face on, I know y'all like this looks crazy. I know it look crazy, girl. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I said I know, I know, I know. Okay. See, I feel like it looks too light. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're just gonna spray this sponge. Well no. I don't know, y'all. It just looks weird to me. No spray this sponge with our Milani Make It Last Setting spray. And then we just don't well. Blend all that out so it looks like skin. Y'all see, I could be tripping. I don't know. It could be just for the lighting. Because this varies with the lighting too. I don't know. Okay, y'all already know. Bring your foundation down your neck. So don't look 3,000 different coats. Okay. Next, we're going to put on our concealer. And this is, of course, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the color 8. says Mocha. If you want to brighten under eye, Use a brighter concealer. I really don't. I haven't gotten into brighter under eyes yet, so I kind of like my face to just look like my face. I really don't like the highlight. So I'm just going to put that under my eyes, on my forehead, nose, and chin. Okay, so now that my concealer has dried down a little bit, 
I'm just gonna take that same sponge I used to blend out with my foundation. Anyway, I'm just gonna use that same, <laughs> this same sponge that I used to blend out my foundation to blend out my concealer. Okay, first we're going to spray our face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. How I forget what this was. Anyway, we're just going to spray our face. I love this product. It just feels so good. <laughs> it just feels so good. Like when you spray your face with your Milani, it just brings everything together it feels amazing after we spray our face what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some lashes girl and these are well if i can actually find the actual lashes that'd be lovely okay these are the kiss look so natural lashes in the style shine and i really like these lashes i like doing them for natural look now for more natural looks now for extravagant looks i really haven't figured out what's my what's my um lash for the big and bold looks yet before simple everyday casual looks and uh as far as the everyday lash goes i really do like this lash it's so pretty it's really fluffy um and to the glue that we're going to be using is the duo lash glue brush on adhesive and this is this is in the color clear okay so while that glue is drying on our lashes we're just going to take a little bit of the find what I'm looking for you're just gonna take a little bit of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Volumous Mascara and we're gonna put that on our eyelashes this is a good mascara that you can just wear by yourself too you don't necessarily need lashes for this for um any makeup look but this is just a good mascara you can just use by your by itself and it gives you a very pretty lash I really like this um, it's a few other mascaras I really like as well, but this is probably one of my favorites, hands down. Okay, so now that we got that done and our lashes are, well, one of our lashes are dry. We're just going to take that and we're just going to pop it on that bad boy. <laughs> Three days later. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this with this this part of slash, but I'm trying to mess up with it and yeah. So why don't you like lashes? Girl, because I be doing too much sometimes. Shoot. Anyways, we're just gonna take everything off our lips because now this is how my hair hard doing my face besides my eyes. I like doing my eyebrows too. Like everything my eyes, I love to do. But my lips, I love doing my lips. We like my favorite part. Okay, y'all already know the same. The, we're using the same pencil that we use to them. We're using the same, yeah, we're using the same pencil that we use to do our eyebrows to line our lips. more of what I'm looking for this is what I want to see mm. okay okay so the next thing you want to do is 
take their birthdays and this is in the color tulip spring which y'all already know that Jeez. okay so next we're gonna take the the next butter gloss in the color madeline i'm gonna put that right there in the middle Make the middle of my lip to look really pink. I've been thinking about getting a um, I'm gonna put some lip gloss in there first just to see if I'm tripping because it's a part of me that don't like that. Hmm. Okay, let me just put some on. Of course, well, not of course, I usually use my MAC, but this will do for today. Y'all let me forget. Y'all really let me forget my blush and my highlighter. Really? Y'all, why didn't y'all remind me? Lord, how do I see? I've never done that. I've never forgot my blush and, and my highlighter. Now, me forgetting one, okay, maybe. But forgetting both of them. Mm-mm. Okay, and y'all know we use the same thing we use for eyeshadow we use for blush too. And because we're doing have red on the eyes, we want a really red blush today. Okay, and we're just gonna take this one, this one, and a little bit of this. Okay, I'm gonna dust it off just a little bit. I'm gonna put that smack that right on them cheeks, baby. I just put that all in my face so I get that perfect little rose color that I want and of course I want to blend it out Oh, I like my lips today. Cute. I like my lips every day, but y'all good. Y'all know what I mean. And a lot of times I put too much right there, and I just take the foundation and do it out the way and put it back where it's supposed to be. So we're gonna take this big fluffy pretty brush that we got from our Amazon brush set. And that's what we're gonna use for our highlighter on. And of course, we're really gonna dip into all of the Milani shades from the Milani Stella Lights highlighter palette. And like, but especially this one. a dab on my nose a dab on the inside right there why when the shot when you own me ah. okay okay and to blend all that and mesh together i'm gonna take that same fluffy brush and just blend it out hi <laughs> Brush number nine from the Beach Cosmetics palette. 
And next we're going to use the highlight at brow bone, of course. Dang, though, I completely, I really completely forgot about highlighter. I didn't even highlight my inner corner. But it's okay. We're here now. We return. Got our senses back. Got our life together. To make those rainbows blow my mind when I think of you sometime. And I want to spend some time with you. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. No, I don't sing. I don't let that be known at all. I don't sing like at all. Those rainbows blow my mind when I think of you sometimes. But I want to spend some time with you. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Okay. And finally, we're gonna use the Milani, the, the Milani Make It Last Stand Spray one more time. Set spray our face. Since I think we finally got our life together, so that we got everything highlighted and blushed and rosied out. And, and this is the end of this video. Um, if you like this look, please recreate it. Send it to me. Just give it to me so I can see it. I can't wait to see it. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, anything that you want to see, any video ideas, anything y'all want me to do, if y'all have any ideas, please leave it in the comment section down below. Um, have a great day. Be safe. Always keep your head up. No 11-11 see you sweat. I love you. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>